Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to Live to Fish. And if you've been with the channel for a while, you know I'm a huge fan of the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. Here it is in the haze color. This is the three inch size. Now my biggest complaint with the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper has always been the durability. Here you see it has one eye left on this one. One eye is gone and it's been chewed up quite a bit, torn up, and the plastic is not the most durable. But there is something on the market that's brand new that you may not have seen yet. In fact, I'm willing to bet that you haven't seen it yet. What is it? Well, that's coming up right here, only here, on Live to Fish. Welcome back to Live to Fish. And if you're new to the channel, please do me a favor. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, smash that like, and do me a favor, leave a comment down below. And if you're one of the regulars to the channel, please do me a favor, don't forget to hit that like and don't forget to leave a comment. And with the success of the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper, you have a lot of imitators on the market. For example, you have the Berkeley Powerbait Agent E. Now, when it comes to the Berkeley Agent E, the issue that I have is with the weed guard that's on the hook. That weed guard is very stiff, may get you through the weeds, but it also messes up some hook sets. Another competitive product is the Mean Eyed Swimmer by Bass Pro. Now, this one, you don't have that dorsal fin hook set back far enough underneath that dorsal fin to stop you from getting weedless. Also, the action wasn't quite the same as you get with the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. For me personally, the Mean Eyed Swimmer did not produce as well as the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper, but there's some people like Joey Hot Rod here that would definitely disagree with that. Also, another imitator is the Savage Gear Structure Gill. This one's in the three inch size. This is in the sinking ghost gill color. And I'll tell you what, the issue that I've had with these is durability. This bait was prone to a lot of short strikes and I always lost the tail on them. But there's something brand new on the market that addresses both the durability issue and also the hookup ratio. And that product, well, that's the Z-Man Gobius. Let's break open the package and take a look. All right, here it is brand new on the market. The Z-Man Gobius It's in the three inch size, three eighth ounce weight, and it's in the natural goby color. Now we're going to keep these comparisons in light, kind, and quality. We're going to compare it against the three-inch Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. We're going to compare it against the three-inch Mean Eyed Swimmer from Bass Pro, and we're also going to compare it against the Savage Gear Structure Gill. Now, due to the fact that the Agent E is a little bit different, uh, has that weed guard on it, I'm not going to be adding that for comparison purposes. So let's go ahead with the unboxing or unpackaging, I should say, of the Z-Man Gobius. Now, it has the uh, standard Z-Man cardboard wrap, but it also has something similar to what you find in that clamshell with the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. So it has its own little housing, which you can kind of keep. I would recommend that you keep those in your tackle bag, tackle box, uh, because you can always put it back in there when you're done. That way it keeps that tail from crimping up or um, maybe misshaping that bait and it kind of keeps it back in its natural form. So here it is, let me get this little piece of paper off here that's kind of stuck to it. Here it is, the Z-Man Gobius, and again, this is the natural goby color. And you're gonna see amongst all three baits that I'm gonna compare this to, I try to find some similar colors, but again, the structure of this bait is a little bit different, um, the way it has the finning or the fanning on the upper side, uh, the dorsal fin, how it kind of just covers the tip of the hook doesn't encapsulate the entire thing, which to me is gonna add for better hookup ratios. I don't like the way the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper one covers it up completely. Again, it makes a good weed guard, but when you're trying to catch fish and trying to get the hook set, not necessarily the best thing when that plastic gets in the way. I like how they have it just over the tip of the hook. And again, the tail and uh, that Z-Man Elastec technology, look at this thing and the way it stretches. You're not gonna get two through critters biting this off on a short strike, and it's definitely gonna hold up a lot better than Savage Gear or any of the other competition. And again, the bait body is also made with that Elastec, so you know it's gonna be durable cast after cast and catch after catch. All right, now let's take a look at a side-by-side -side comparison between the Bass Pro Mean Eyed Swimmer and with the Z-Man Gobius, you can see that the tail is nowhere near as flexible. Definitely will not take up to a strike from a toothy critter. You can also look at the dorsal fin there. Just the tip is in the dorsal fin, whereas on the Gobius, it's a little bit more covered. Again, not as encapsulated as much as the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. And again, here it is against the Savage Gear Structure Gill. Again, the tail is definitely not as durable. It doesn't stretch. You have the dorsal fin where the hook is completely encapsulated, much more like the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. The underbelly on this is a little bit, uh, has a little bit better design, a little bit wider. Again, it's a little plain, uh, more like the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper when it comes to the Z-Man Gobius. But again, you can't beat that Elastec on that tail. 
All right, let's take a look at the big heavy hitters now. We're going to take a look at the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper here with its tail. Again, not Elastec, but uh, definitely a little bit better durability than you find in the Savage Gear. Here's the dorsal fin here covering up the hook entirely. Definitely encapsulated in there. Again, I think that has an, an issue when getting hook sets. Um, again, top view comparing the Z-Man Gobius. Again, look at the stretch on that Elastec. For me personally, that's been a game changer on everything that Z-Man has put out. You just cannot beat that Elastec technology. Again, here's a great close-up side-by-side -side comparison of that dorsal fin hook. You can kind of see, again, both of them uh, definitely good weed guarded, but one is a little bit less covered up. On the underbelly, they're definitely about the same, very smooth, definitely not as uh, detailed as the structure gill. But again, I would take any, either of these over that any day. And there you have it, the new kit on the block, the Z-Man Gobius. Now, as you can see, the Z-Man Elastec product, that definitely addresses the durability issue. Definitely not going to give you some of the break-offs and short strikes like you get on Savage Gear. Also, the design of the product with the hook being recessed underneath that dorsal fin is going to address the issue that I have with the Mean Eye Swimmer from Bass Pro. Now, when you're talking about durability and fishability, you're definitely going to have a big contender up against the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. I'm going to leave a link to the product down below so you can pick up the Z-Man Gobius and try it for yourself. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Z-Man Gobius. My bet is this is going to be a hot bait for 2024. You're going to see a lot of content creators using it, and you're going to see a lot of fish caught on it. When it comes to the Ned Rig and the Finesse TRD, the Z-Man Elastec cannot be beat. You can catch fish after fish on one bait, and those smallies, they really put it to the test. And when it comes to Gobi bait imitators, I'll tell you what, with this Z-Man Elastec technology, I think this thing's going to be the one to beat. I think this is going to be a huge contender for 2024 and beyond against the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper. Again, let me know what you think down below in the comments. And until next time, be safe, be well, and as always, live to fish. Take care, everybody.